Hey guys, so this video is going to be just answering all your, you know, questions. Uh, a lot of people send me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, telling me, like, the same amount of questions, like, literally the same questions over and over again. So I thought I could make a video to, like, gather these questions and answer them, like, forever, okay? So that you guys don't need to send me again and again the same questions, okay? So, the first question is... I am young. Should I start the USMLA? Okay, or when I sh when should I start the USMLA? And this question is basically, well, like the answer. The basic answer is right now. Okay, you need to start right now. Okay, the reason is because the the US, the America, is like a big country. Okay, and it has people from everywhere around the world, and doctors here are very competent, and people who start early are the one are the ones who win. Okay. So you have a lot of people who begin like since the first year of medical school. So the earlier, the better your chances are, okay? You definitely need to start as early as possible, okay? So now, you should start right now, okay? Don't say, oh, I'll finish clinical, I'll finish whatever, I'll finish whatever course first and then start the USMLE, that's stupid, okay? Start right now. Okay, this is the answer. How to prepare for the USMLE if I am a young student? how to prepare okay so listen you need to first finish your coursework okay so you need to finish like the basics of medicine first and I I'm screaming at you guys like always telling you that you need to like build your foundation first and then go directly into questions uh, or you know building your foundation of course using questions that's that's what I always do or what I always say okay so what is the question again? <laughs> ah, how to prepare um, so, finishing your coursework, okay, using some resources, you know, some resources I'm, t I'm talking about here, like, for example, finishing physiology, that's super high yield, you need to finish physiology very, very well, you need to look for a good resource for physiology, and if you want my recommendation, I recommend a, a book called Costanzo Physiology, this is one of the, if, if not the best book out there for physiology, like literally, it's, it's going to make you understand what is physiology like what is the human body is about literally like this is this is this is insane guys like i always wanted to understand stuff but going through costanzo physiology and anki flashcards of costanzo that's that's what made me understand physiology like yasin better like if you want to ask how did yasin better understand physiology this is how i did it okay costanzo physiology and anki cards of, uh, of costanzo physiology so this is about physiology. Pathology, I said 100 times, you have uh, Dr. Sattar, Hassan Sattar, um, he's a pathologist, right, in America. He has like a, a course with a book. So finishing that for pathology is very, very important, okay? So physiology, phys uh, pathology, and then question banks, okay? Physiology, pathology, this is all you really need. And anatomy, histology, all that kind of stuff will come into your way when you're reading. For example, you're reading about kidney physiology, right? You're reading right now about kidney physiology. You cannot possibly understand kidney physiology without going through the histology of the kidney, okay? So you will find yourself looking into stuff while you're reading, so all the other small subjects will come into your way. So let's just focus on physiology, pathology, if you're a young student, and then go right into solving questions right away. Right away, guys. There is no, uh, there is no point here of wasting a lot of time. Okay, third question. What is the best time to start USMLE? Isn't this the first question I asked? Okay. <laughs> best time is right now, okay? The best time is right now. If you're a young student, if you're an old student, if you're a doctor, doesn't matter. You have to start right now. Okay. So first, the best time is to start right now. That's, that's my answer. How long does it take to prepare for the step one? Okay, it depends. It depends on how you're strong uh, in the foundations. So if you're strong in foundations, it, it literally takes you maybe uh, three months or something to prepare for step one and pass the exam. That's easy for people who have strong foundation. By strong foundation, I mean their ability to understand physiology and pathology and solve questions. Okay, if you're good enough at that, at that, so three months is the best way. And you can look, you can check this video on how to pass this step one within 90 days. I'll put the link up somewhere here. Okay. So make sure you uh, see that. Uh, for people who are weak in foundation, you need first to build your foundation. Do not really worry about when I'm going to take the exam. First, build the foundation and start solving questions and build on that uh, momentum and speed. 
and you'll find yourself, oh, I'm kind of passing the MVMEs right now, so I can't take the Yosemite with them X, X amount of time, okay? So don't worry about the step one uh, time frame if you're a weak student, okay? I'd say from two to three years, like minimum. Not, not minimum, I mean two to three years, okay? That's the average. Um, so that's why I'm telling you guys, if you are a young student, it's best to start right now because in two years, two, three years, you're gonna be able to take step one, okay? Yeah, um, how to balance studying for med school with college, okay? I have a video, I'll put it somewhere here, okay? How to balance the studying between um, the US MLE and medical school. It's a big, big topic, and that's why I cover that in this video, and I'll talk like in detail about it, so make sure you watch that. But I'll like answer briefly here on how to balance. Do not leave your medical school education, okay? Do not say, oh, I'm gonna throw the, whatever I'm doing in the trash right now, because I don't care about school, I care about the US and, you know, living my uh, best life in the US, and I don't care about degrees, uh, my degree I'm, I'm taking from my country, my ex country. That's stupid, okay? If you're taking cardiology in your medical school, start cardiology, like do it the right way, okay? Do not just leave shit and start doing um, first aid, okay? No, you're taking cardiology right now. Why, why are you studying biochemistry for step one? Just do, do cardiology, bro, okay? Leave whatever the hell you're doing and do cardiology. Stop doing, fucking yourself up, okay? Just do cardiology. Um, so let's say you are a second year medical student and you're taking neurology, all right? How do I balance studying or how do I do neurology for medical school and neurology for step one? And this is the correct way of doing, going through it, okay? Um, so finish neurology well, understand the physiology of the nervous system, understand the pathology of the nervous system, the histology, the anatomy, etc., etc., of the nervous system, and then apply using question banks, okay? This is how you do it. Okay, do not worry about uh, solving random questions yet, okay? Even though there is another school of thought that tells you you should start random questions as, so as soon as possible. I kind of agree with that as well, but there are two schools of thought here. So follow, follow first the idea that you need to master every subject first, okay, before going into random stuff, okay? Because while you're studying neurology, you'll find yourself getting a little bit of kid kidney disease on the way. You're, start, you're, you're finding yourself getting a little bit of biochemistry on the way. So you will be randomizing stuff as well when you're studying for neurology, okay? That's important. Tell me how to start, uh, how to start, re uh, start using resources. What are, what are the resources I start with? Way of studying? Well, as I said, if you're a weak student, you need to start doing well. You need to start you need to start doing physiology, right? Using Costanzo. You need pathology using uh, pathoma, etc., etc. Okay, so that's that's what I'm talking about. If you're a weak student, do do stuff the right way. If you're a strong student, bro, do not waste time, please. Please do not waste time. Go do an MBME right now. All right, test yourself. You will find yourself even passing the exam without even doing anything. Okay, if you're a doctor, if you're a good doctor, if you're a good medical student, don't waste time doing you world, blah, blah, blah. Start doing an MBME right away. Check yourself. You could pass the exam, trust me, okay? If you're not passing the exam, that's a completely different thing, right? You will then go to your world and finish the U world, okay? And I have a video which is saying how to pass the USMLE within 90 days. I'm talking about everything like that. I'm talking about... Uh, how easy it is as a, as a strong medical student to pass the OSMR, okay? I, I, I'm, I'm saying that a lot now. <laughs> okay. Um, way of studying. Bro, I have a complete course that uh, talks about how to study, how to properly study, okay? And I'm talking about theories like the visualizing theory, how to visualize, to, to conceptualize information, all, all that. I'll put the link on the, in the description so you can watch the whole video. It's a, a very like high yield, uh, kind of video because if you are not able to study well like screw resources screw everything okay let's just learn how to study properly okay and then worry about uh, doing the proper stuff okay most important resource to study with question marks are the most important resource to study with okay I am a doctor how to study for step one bro if you are a doctor okay just go do an MBME first, test yourself if you're good enough, 
it's, yeah, that's it. Go, go get the exam. That easy. If you find yourself weak, that's a completely different thing. You need to go directly to question banks, test yourself and to learn from it, plus Anki cards, etc., etc. I have a video for that. Like I have a video for everything. This channel like is full of videos for advice about you or something. What do you think of BNB, Pathoma, Sketchy Micro? Let's start with BNB. Guys, my main resource throughout medical school is Borders and Beyond. Borders and Beyond is extremely helpful. I like that resource a lot because it, like, it's first aid, but the video version of it. And if you don't like first aid like myself, the best way is to go about doing is to go through Borders and Beyond. Because this guy doesn't say anything that's not high yield. Everything that's said in Borders and Beyond is high yield, okay? And this guy doesn't say anything that's trivial or it's not going to come on the exam okay so make sure uh, if, you, if you're not using first aid boys and beyond is the way to go okay and a question may ask me uh, might like might ask me right now somebody might ask me right now saying oh how does bmb fits in all that okay my answer to this is basically he's like a board review you know boys and beyond is like a review a fast rapid review of things you already know okay but that could work in the people work for some people in the dedicated period some people like to use boys and beyond okay uh so it's like a video version okay you can use it as a, a rapid review but you cannot really depend on it for reinforcing information okay so physiology don't really depend on on costanzo uh, on sorry on boys and beyond depend on costanzo costanzo physiology is like more uh in depth and more like okay um, Pathoma, like I said, Pathoma is like one of the UFAP resources, so uh, that's like in non-negotiable. Sketchy Micro, if you understand micro well, if you understand micro well, if you understand bacteria, bacteriology, uh, virology, virology, if you understand the, the, the concepts and the, the science itself, Sketchy Micro is going to be amazing for you because you're just um, memorizing stuff well. If you don't know shit about micro, you don't know, even know what's the difference between a bacteria and a virus, do not start with sketchy micro. It's gonna confuse you a lot more, okay? You'll find yourself memorizing stuff without even know what is, what is that, okay? So, sketchy micro if you're good in microbiology, that's it. Okay, I don't like sketchy for, um, uh, for understanding. It's really not understanding, it's just reinforcing what you already know, okay. Um, how to remember better when studying for step one? Anki cards. Doing Anki is what oh, is what's, uh, is what gonna make you remember a lot more. Doing Anki cards, uh, visualizing, conceptualizing. That's a big. Uh, that's a big. That's a big question. I answered that in um, the video on retaining. Um, it's how to use Anki for step one. I'm gonna put the link up and it's uh, in here. How to study physiology, pharmacology, and microbiology. Okay, physiology, I, I just said that. You're gonna do Costanzo, you're gonna read Costanzo, you're gonna understand, visualize, um, literally understand everything, turn it into pictures in your mind, conceptualize, visualize, and then put the pieces of information you learned into Anki, or you will have a deck for Costanzo, by the way. There is a deck for Costanzo physiology that I used. You can use that along with reading the book. That's gonna be more than enough for physiology. Pharmacology, here it comes. Um, if you are like, if you if you were a good a good medical student, you probably had some kind of a good resource for pharmacology. Um, so you probably have like enough information about pharmacology that you can just go and solve questions uh, about pharmacology. If you don't have that good of a resource during your medical school, you can use Boards and Beyond Pharmacology for that. That's pretty good. Okay, the parts that he talked about for, uh, drugs and pharmacology, it's really arranged in a good way. For example, he talks about HIV, right? He talks about AIDS. And um, he have like an HIV drugs video after the after talking about HIV. So it's kind of a good video and a good start to begin with. If you find yourself uncomfortable doing pharmacology and you don't really understand stuff, go back to Kaplan. Kaplan pharmacology is pretty good, okay? How to study immunology? Kaplan immunology. Do Kaplan immunology. It's one of the best resources for immunology out there, okay? Okay, that's the questions I have. Uh, that's part one. I'm gonna make part one, maybe part two, three, depending on the questions I get. But these are the most frequently asked questions I like. I get all the time. So uh, yeah, make sure you send me on, or you comment on this video. I'm gonna make 
uh, videos to answer all the questions you guys sent me, okay? Have a great day, guys.